a building so tall that the wind could break it, but it doesn't, thanks to an engineering genius. This is the story of the tallest tower mankind has ever built. The Burj Khalifa stands at an incredible height of 828 meters. It is not just a building, it shows how ambitious and innovative people can be. This amazing skyscraper in Dubai shows the city's ambition and innovation in architecture. Its sleek, modern design and unique spiraling shape make it a standout in the Dubai skyline. The ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, gave a very simple order. Build the highest tower in the world. And that's exactly what engineers and workers did, creating the world's first true vertical city. Half a mile high, the Burj Khalifa is not only an engineering marvel, but also a vibrant place where people live and work, shaping the life of Dubai. Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, has a long history. It started as a small trading port and pearl fishing town on the Arabian Gulf. Because of its location, it became an important place for trade, connecting the region to the rest of the world. But everything changed when oil was discovered in the region. In the last few decades, Dubai has become a global city thanks to the money from its oil and the vision of its leaders. They wanted to make Dubai more than just an oil town, so they invested in new businesses and buildings. Now, Dubai is famous for its modern buildings, fancy lifestyle, and being a top spot for business and tourism. The idea for the Burj Khalifa began with the vision of Dubai's leaders. They aimed to create an iconic structure symbolizing the city's ambition and innovation. The initial concept evolved into the design for the Burj Khalifa, with the goal of not just constructing a building, but creating a vertical city that would redefine Dubai's skyline. During the construction, more than 12,000 people from different countries worked very hard to make the Burj Khalifa. They built a new floor about every three days. They could work so quickly because they used new ways to build and planned everything very carefully to make sure it stayed on time and didn't cost too much. The construction of the Burj Khalifa started with digging a large hole. Unlike most tall buildings, it doesn't have a foundation that reaches the hard rock underground. Instead, Thick friction piles are drilled deep into the softer desert sand and rock, allowing the tower to rise hundreds of meters into the sky. The construction site was active 24-7, with about 100 people, including architects, engineers, and designers, working hard to bring this ambitious project to life. As the Burj Khalifa grew taller, it faced engineering challenges, especially with wind forces. Taller buildings have to withstand stronger winds. To deal with this, the building's design includes setbacks as it goes up, which reduces the impact of wind at higher levels. Setbacks are like steps that occur as the building rises, with each successive tier being slightly smaller in area than the one below it. This design helps break up the flow of air around the building, reducing the pressure on the structure from strong winds. In addition to setbacks, the Burj Khalifa's asymmetrical design also helps it withstand wind forces. The building tapers as it rises, which helps to reduce wind resistance. This shape allows the building to slice through the wind more efficiently, minimizing the impact of strong gusts. The tower's tapering shape not only reduces wind resistance, but also creates a series of outdoor terraces as the building rises. These terraces provide stunning views of the city and serve as a functional space for residents and visitors to enjoy. Another fascinating design aspect of the Burj Khalifa is its Y-shaped floor plan. The floor plan draws inspiration from the symmetries of a desert flower. This design offers stunning views and ensures ample natural light and ventilation for each unit. The Y shape creates a series of wings that extend outward from the central core, providing panoramic views of the city and the Arabian Gulf. This innovative design, however, posed significant structural challenges. Each wing of the building had to support the weight of the floors above it, requiring complex engineering solutions. The structural system of the Burj Khalifa consists of a central concrete core that houses the elevators, stairwells, and mechanical systems, surrounded by the Y-shaped floor plates. The core provides the primary structural support, while the wings extend outward from the core, supporting the floors like overhanging beams. The Y-shaped floor plan also helps make the building more energy efficient. It creates natural shade, reducing the amount of direct sunlight entering the interior spaces, Combined with the high-quality outer covering, this design helps control the building's temperature, reducing the need for artificial lighting and cooling. Building the Burj Khalifa was a huge achievement that needed the skills of many experts. One of the main companies involved was Samsung CNT, a big construction company from South Korea known for its great projects. 
They were perfect for this big job because of their skills and new ways of building. Another important company was Bessex, a construction company from Belgium that's good at building tall buildings. They worked with Samsung CNT to finish the Burj Khalifa. The tower's design was done by an American company called Skidmore, Owings and Merrill, which gave it its famous look. Dubai's leaders chose these companies very carefully, not by chance. They looked at each company's great work history and ability to meet the tough demands of building the Burj Khalifa. The teamwork between these companies, along with the hard work of over 12,000 workers from different countries, made the Burj Khalifa a reality. The inauguration of the Burj Khalifa on January 4, 2010, was not just an opening ceremony. It was a spectacular event that captured the world's attention. The date was chosen to coincide with the beginning of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's rule in Dubai, adding significance to the occasion. Leaders from around the world gathered to witness the unveiling of the world's tallest building. The night sky lit up with a breathtaking display of fireworks, symbolizing the city's ambition and marking a new chapter in Dubai's history. Life inside the Burj Khalifa is as extraordinary as its exterior. The tower houses a mix of residential apartments, luxurious hotels, office spaces, and entertainment venues, making it a vertical city in its own right. Residents and guests enjoy breathtaking views of Dubai's skyline from their homes and hotel rooms, while workers in the offices experience a unique perspective of the city below. The building's elevators travel at an astonishing speed of 10 meters per second, swiftly taking people to where they need to go. Despite its immense height, the Burj Khalifa is kept remarkably clean and well-maintained, thanks to innovative technologies and a dedicated team of professionals. Its interior is a testament to luxury and comfort, offering a truly unique living and working experience in the heart of Dubai. To wrap up, the Burj Khalifa stands as a testament to human ambition and engineering mastery. It is not just a building, it is a living, breathing testament to the spirit of Dubai, shaping the skyline and the future of the city for generations to come. Thank you for watching and let me know what you'd like to explore next.